That's not a shadow. There's a man in my house. That's when I knew I had to get you guys. Now I know for sure. I was so scared. You're not gonna run. They're at both doors. I want you guys to be extremely careful. It's in that room. I swear there's a portal. I don't wanna die in this house. And if I get hurt, I'm here by myself. I can't even get help. And then it renders me totally paralyzed and helpless. There's nothing I can do to defend myself. 666, no freaking way. I fear for you guys. I'm gonna ask you to leave. I think I have a demon here, I want you to leave. I don't want you to be a part of this. The power, Josh, I, I pray for you. I think you're amazing, but I pray for you tonight. I will be the whole time you guys are in here. Oh my God, my camera just went off too. got here to Ada, Ohio. Supposedly Lori's got a bunch of disturbing stuff going on inside her house. So we're going to go in and meet with her and see what all she's got going on. I am Hi. so glad to see Lori. you guys. Hi. Hi. Hello. How are you? How are you? I'm Sean. Hi. I know Rocky. Nice to meet you. Josh. Hi Josh. Nice to meet you. My name is Lori. I bought this house in September of 2019. We started moving the furniture in. I couldn't wait to spend my first night here. That night I went to bed and something crawled up at the end of the bed. It got on the bed, like on hands and knees. I didn't want to turn over because I was scared of what would might be there. Nobody was here, it was me. It happened every single night. They are so strong and heavy and distinctive, but there's three different ones. April of 22, the floor on this middle wall here started to separate from the wall. And that's when things started happening. To me, this is how they come in, but I don't know why. But I can hear them in there moving things around. Kitchen cupboards was always opening and closing. Floor got done in that room in June. I put the new bed in there was completely covered in flies. I stopped dead in my tracks, this is evil. I have never seen anything like that except in movies. I thought it was something they make up. For three days, I cleaned up flies. They was horrible, but I had to debunk it. I had, I had to get evil out of my head. So I let that go. I blamed it on Gordon, but it's not, it was not Gordon. I could feel this ascension coming up from right under me. I realized that when it came through the mattress, it came up, it came around my back because I was on my side, wrapped completely around me. I was laying there on my back. I was totally paralyzed. Somebody walked in my bedroom door. It was an old man, but this was a human. Scared me to death, but I couldn't hardly walk for three days. I hurt so bad. I don't know what happened. I have no recollection. All I know is what I just told you. It wrapped completely around me. Fear is, is that an attachment because things are happening to my body that are not right either. And I looked up and the man is standing right here. That's not a shadow. There's a man in my house. That's when I knew I had to get you guys. Now I know for sure. I didn't want to pull you here and you say you're crazy. No, I'm not crazy. As soon as I hit send, this door and the back door, violently, violently with the handles for one hour solid the power the unnerving energy that i felt off of this was unreal is there anybody back there back where i keep hearing there's nobody here that's them and i was never so terrified i felt the violence the energy was the scariest thing i've ever felt and he's a big man this man that was here he's huge he's not a little boy by any means that was the most scariest thing, terrifying. I didn't think they have that much energy. He does, and he has the power, and you will feel it if you encounter him. Is he a demon? In my mind, yes. When I looked at the back door, there was like a silhouette of like shoulders and head, but as soon as I got the glimpse of it, it disappeared. And it come up behind me, and my ear goes, ah! Three times in a half hour, it did that to me before all this was over. I was so scared but you're not gonna run, they're at both doors. I, I can't do this by myself again. I'm scared now, but I didn't know what else I was in store for, but I was scared. I couldn't wait for you guys. I felt him when he came in. I knew he was here. And I must've got a look on my face and she said, what's wrong? And I said, I'm gonna ask you to leave. Why would you do that? And I said, because I think I have a demon here. I want you to leave. I don't want you to be a part of this. And I said, come sit at the table with me and I'll, I'll explain. So we came in and we sat at the table loud crash loud loud crash and she's like what is that i said i told you he's here 
I took two sips of coffee and my body basically collapsed at the table. I, I was done. It's, it's taking a toll. I'm nervous. He's here. But since he wrapped around me, they start in here in the core of my, I don't know if my soul, my body, whatever. I don't know if he was happy with himself. So I went and laid on the bed. I was maybe there five minutes. I started to doze off and they always have four, always four legs, four limbs, whatever they have, whatever they're walking with. There's never two, that's four every time. And, and then it got up like to my, my knees and I said, oh no, you're not doing that to me again. And I got up, I said, you can have the bed, I'm done. Yes, I am thoroughly exhausted. My hair is falling out. There's only one that feels bad, and I can almost tell you it's a demon, but I don't know enough or have the knowledge to really say that specifically, if that makes sense. He is evil. He is extremely powerful. I don't want nothing to happen to you guys, but he, he's, he's a, I want you guys to be extremely careful. He's, he's bad. That's what I feel. From that floor, it, I won't go in my room now except to get my medicine or my clothes or something, and I get right back, it's in that room. There's, I, I swear there's a portal or something, but I don't know how I can have a portal if it wasn't there before just because the floor collapsed. I can't do it anymore. I'm not leaving my home. I can't do this because this, I'll have a heart attack within a month. That's how bad this guy is. But his power is like overwhelming. His viciousness, He's just so violent. He's gonna hurt me. It had me. It had total control of me and I was totally helpless. I, I, I can't do that anymore. And I, now I can't even get in my bed. I don't wanna die in this house. And if I get hurt, I'm here by myself. I can't even get help. And then it renders me totally paralyzed and helpless. I, I, there's nothing I can do to defend myself. It looked like a man, an old man had walked in the bedroom. Then I thought, are you trying to show me Gordon? But then who's this guy in the trench coat? I mean, what if Gordon was never a good spirit? I, I don't know. You know, that's what I said. I don't indulge in this. I don't have a lot of knowledge. I have not checked into any of this kind of stuff. But it took him four years to get to this point where there's something ugly here. If he just made it up through the floor, if that's what came up through me and wrapped around me, I, I really don't know. That's why I called you guys. It, it's too much now. It's way too much and this is evil extremely evil and powerful i pray for you guys because he's if he if he unleashes the whole house goes and it doesn't stop when you get hurt you've been through enough with it he's just got so much strength he's got so much power i cannot stress to you enough how much i felt that that night it was horrible he has to get out of here he will hurt me eventually that floor opened something up this is my house. It's my solitude. It's me and my dog. I, I want peace. I don't want no drama. I came here to have my peace, to live a comfortable, happy life. Now I'm being invaded and I, I don't know why. Where this evil thing came from, it has to be through that floor. The power, Josh, I, I pray for you. I think you're amazing, but I pray for you tonight. I will be the whole time you guys are in here. This is the floor when it collapsed, when they cut it out. Once that was destroyed, that's when things started going bad with evil. These are when the flies invaded to right after the floor was done. They was dead all over the floor. And then I had them, that, that was this window here. They was, but they was all down the windowsill, all over this floor. They was everywhere. I mean, the name Gordon, where did that come from? When I got the spirit box. So yeah, you hear him, don't you? So he's not happy. And I started just asking a bunch of questions like you guys do. And I said, what is your name? And he said, Gordon. That was the first thing he said. And I said, did you used to live here? Did you own this house? And there was no more responses. But that's how I know Gordon's name, just because I tried the spirit box. As soon as I hit send, the whole house went totally psycho with this evil thing. All the time. but they're always moving things, or it sounds like they're moving things, going through cupboards, opening and closing the cupboards. And But I always thought that was Gordon. What if Gordon was trying to draw you in? You know more about this than I do, Josh. That's why I called you guys. I don't want to get hurt. He's already very angry, and I don't want to make him angrier. And you can't pull away from it. You can't just say, oh, well, wait a minute. No, you feel him. You feel his power. You feel his anger and his violence. You, it go. Oh my good, he's he's bad. He's really bad. I fear for you guys. 
except when he slammed those. Our camera was 98% and just went dead. He wouldn't let me make phone calls today. Hmm. He's not happy. He's here. He's not happy, Josh. But if he knows who you guys are, and then ever since then, he's been here, but he's, I just fear for you. It, yeah, it scared me. There's nobody else I can call. Anybody can investigate. I've done that myself. I, have, I know what's here. I don't need you to come in and just investigate. You need to make this go away. And you guys can do that. You have that power. You have that strength, and I see it every day. You have that ability. I never thought I would be in this boat, but I don't know why I am. I didn't evoke anything. It's that floor. Can that open a portal when something like that happens? Mm -hmm. And what we're doing well. I don't like you behind me. Gordon, are you in there? I've heard you knocking. From there over is where everything was cut out and where that hole was. There was no issues here until that floor did that. The floor was separating from the wall, so I had it investigated. And they came in and they cut out a big hole. It was sitting there rotting out the floors. That's what destroyed the asphalt floor. So now there's a big hole there. A month after it was repaired is when the flies came. And then the other stuff started, the evil stuff started happening. These two rooms was built in 1900. The front addition and the back was added on in 1940. But this is the original house that started it. All hell is broke loose basically. And I'm, now I'm terrified and I love my house. I'm not leaving. He has to go because he, he will hurt me eventually. I know that. What's going on? Did you guys hear the bells going off? Yeah. I got a. I walked by here, like this, about right here, and this whole. But it came out of like here. I just heard something. It's like a Mel's voice that came through and just said, "Hey." We're going to try to get Lori some answers tonight and some closure. But all through the interviews, we kept hearing knocking and stuff coming from back there in the kitchen. Whoever's inside this house, my name is Josh. This is Rocky and Sean. We're here to get Lori some help and some answers. So this is her bedroom right here. And a few years ago, this floor had collapsed in here. She started to notice dead flies all over the place, dead bugs. And then that's when things really took off and got really bad. And then she's been attacked in this bed multiple times. So she doesn't even sleep in here anymore. Who inside this house is affecting Lori and scaring Lori? Did you come from a hole under this floor? Gordon, are you inside this house right now? It's in the kitchen. Yeah, she has had a lot of activity in this kitchen. I'm gonna stick this camera in here. You knew we were coming, didn't you? Whoa. Right me. It's crazy because the only alarms going off right now are the ones in her bedroom. 
Who is inside this bedroom? You've scared Lori so bad that she will not sleep in her bed. It is like a heavy feeling in here, ain't it? It feels colder. I mean, it's like... I got goosebumps right now, but it's like a... It's like a weird energy. Something just touched me. Is there something on me? Who just touched me? We're here to help Lori. We're going to send you back to where you came from. It was back here. We're not chasing you all over this house. Let me just stand in here. But somebody stand at that doorway. Because I want to see. We know you're inside this house. We want to know why you're here and why you're affecting Lori. While you're trying to hurt Lori. Come on, Gordon. You may have tricked Lori, but you're not going to trick us. It's a long time. That's why I keep hearing footsteps. Did you come through a portal? In Lori's bedroom? If so, set one of my alarms off. Oh, that was like right behind me. Let me see that, Sean. So that's what earlier, whenever I came. Look. He's like freaking six oh. inches from it. Alarm now. Gordon, is that you? Can you do something louder? Hit something, let us know where you're at. Can you talk to us? Whatever those bell things are, have moved multiple times since we've been here. So I'm gonna put a camera on it. Set this alarm off for yes. Well, whoever's in here, if you want to scare us, you gotta do something a lot more than that. We're not chasing you. Come to me. Let's go in there and sit and just turn this monitor on and just see if we hear anything. Gordon, it's time to come out and talk to us. Are you by me right now? Who's the dark figure that Lori's seen that was shaking all the door handles in the house? You afraid to come out? Immediately when I walked through that doorway, I got...
Who crawls in this bed? Is there a portal down here? Oh, I'm getting a huge EMF spike down here. Oh, Sean, give me the camera. Hurry. Hurry. I put this down here. The REM pod went off. Got a huge spike. And the temperature went to 666. If this is a portal, make it say 666. I mean, it's like literally jumping. 666, there it is. Holy shit. It went from 70.3 on command, went back down to 666. That is freaking nuts. 70 again. Ain't that weird? It's 70 up on top of the bed. Under the bed, it's 666. That's freaking crazy, ain't it? I wonder if she, I wonder if she don't want to sleep in here. What do you do? You just stay under the bed hiding? She felt this energy come up from under, underneath the floor where the hole was, which is basically where her bed is right now. Wrapped itself around her in the bed. Did some bad things. And that's when it really started. Hey, Josh. What? You think you should put a... No way. I didn't even start recording. This thing just popped up. Freaking like a doctor. Working on a patient laying in bed. Okay. I have the ghost here on. And I'm in the dark. Where the portal is underneath the bed. Was you once a doctor? Who is making that device go to 666? Come on, show me something. I want to know who was messing with Lori in this bed. Can you move the bed? like something just touched like right here under my shoulder no way my leg was you just touching my leg give me your name you ever just touched me come on don't be a coward you can always show me Got a picture coming. A whole bunch of dead bodies or what? Yeah, this just looks like a crap load of dead bodies or something like that. But it looks like a hallway. Can you show me the portal? I want to see more. Ooh, feels like the bed's moving. Show me how strong you are. Can you lift the bed up? It looks like steps, I think. And somebody's like sitting on the steps. Did you once live in this house? Oh, alarm's going off. Am I getting to you? Show me a picture on here. Show me what you look like. Something's moving. Is that you? I hear something. Whoa. Oh, shit. No way. 
Fucking Larm's going nuts. Okay, I'm done. Josh. A fucking picture of a freaking old man. And this Larm's going nuts. Stay in there with it. No. Uh, yes. Is that, it's freaking like his eyeballs looking at me right now. Gordon, is that you? Holy shit. If that's you, and you just showed yourself. Holy shit, he's out here. Can you move this bed now, since you're in here? Holy shit, that alarm's going nuts. Come on, walk over here to me. Show me what's underneath this bed. Oh my god. I'm like freaking burning up right now. I'm not feeling very good. Okay, you can call it. Holy. Yeah, wait till you see this freaking last picture I, I came across. It was working on a patient laying in bed. It's like, like a whole bunch of bodies or something in a room. There's the one, but there was a cat right here. Too bad it was in then. So I don't know what the... I mean, was there stairs in? Maybe an older house here at one time? Yeah, look at that. That's when I asked him to show himself to me what he looked like. Oh, wow. That's, That's what crazy. popped up. But on there, you can only see like half of him, so this eyeball's like really freaking big. And that's what scared the living out of me. But it's crazy, I asked him to, you know, show me what he looked like. And that's what freaking came up. For that to come up, my body's like shaking right now. I mean, I was scared shitless. That and I started, I got, it started getting really hot, so kind of curious to go back and, I mean, to see if that uh, temperature changed while I was laying in bed. All right, my name's Rocky. I'm in here by myself. I got a device in front of me. You can walk up and talk to it. There's another device. If you walk up to it, you can set it off just by touching it. Let me know that you're in here with me. You want to come up and have a seat with me? There you go, there's a chair. What do you want with Lori? You said you needed something, what do you need? Dining. No way. Dining. I want to talk. You want to talk? Pathetic. Okay. No, I'm not pathetic. Are you sitting at the dining table with me? Are you upset? I'm I, lost. You're lost? Did you die in here? If you tell me your name, we can talk. Fight. Sharon. Do you like to fight? Not here. Do you know it's time for you to move on and leave Lori alone? I don't know. You don't know if you're ready to move on? I heard here it's a lot nicer to move on than to be stuck in a house like this. This ain't your home anymore, do you understand that? Do you stay under Lori's bed? Did you come from the hole that was under... Spirit. No way. What do you want from Lori? Lori hasn't done anything to you. See, you're hiding from me. You're just... Come in here with me and then we can talk. 
So right now, my back, the center of my back is like freezing cold. Are you right behind me? I'm getting cold chills. Cold. Cold. Pray. Stupid. Praying ain't stupid. We got holy water. Something just banged on something. Is that you that just banged on something? Yeah, we got holy water for you. It's time for you to go. Caution. I want to stay. No, you can't stay. You gotta leave. Lori does not want you here anymore. Do you understand that? I hear you. Well, you better hear me. You're messing with a, a woman that did nothing to you. Come over here. I'm staying right here. You can come right over here and sit down. There's a chair there. There's a chair there. You can pick There's four. Yes. Yes, there's four chairs. Cursed. You're free to leave this house. There's no use What that... is happening? Is your name Gordon? You crawling on the ceiling right now? I hear you crawling on the ceiling. Right behind me. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Sorry. Or is Get that? Here. I'm here. Another room. It's... Come here. No, I'm not coming here. I told you to come and you can sit in one of the chairs. Okay, so right now I'm inside the house by myself. And really so far this room and then the back room I don't know if it's like the laundry room. It seems to be like the creepiest. So I'm gonna sit in here. Okay, I'm in here by myself. I'm gonna stick my alarm down here by the bed. If you're in here with me, I want you to set one of my alarms off. Yeah, that was what's so crazy is getting that um, 666 underneath the bed. If you came from a portal underneath this floor that I'm sitting on, set one of my alarms off and let me know that you're in here with me. It's creepy because you're just waiting on something to happen. your name really Gordon? I don't like what you're doing to Lori. You're no longer going to hurt Lori. We're going to get you out of this house tonight and we're going to send you back to where you came from. What the frick? Was that you? I feel like something's just like staring at you. Gordon! It's time to come out. You got me in here all by myself. I'm not afraid of you. You stay in this room? We're going to save Lori tonight. If you're attached to her, 
We're going to kick your ass out of this house. Walk in. I hear you out there. Come on, let's see what you're made of. I know what you did. She said you hit doors, you shake door handles. I'm almost afraid to look underneath the freaking bed. <gasps> Am I aggravating you? Were you underneath this house? And he came through a portal? Dude, that freaking alarm. This camera, when I came in this bedroom, was at like 98%. Had like 138 minutes. And now it's dead. Okay, I'm gonna leave this alarm. Okay, so I'm gonna leave some alarms in the bedroom. I'm gonna do a sweep through the house. This one room back here is like crazy creepy. This is where something touched me back here. If you're back here, can you move those bells again? Buried. Were you buried underneath this house? Strangled. Whoever's in this house, hit those bells again. Come on, don't be afraid. Don't be a coward. Basement. There's a crawl space. I want to know why you're affecting Lori, scaring Lori, hurting Lori. Draining. Your time's up tonight. We're going to get rid of you and we're going to make you get out of this house. And there's nothing you can do about it. I got cameras in there. The alarms are going off like crazy in there. Come on, am I pissing you off? Lori's in this house by herself. Just trying to enjoy her life. And you come in here like a coward. And you try to take that away from her. Night. No way. Is that you? Please wait and listen. I'm not afraid of you and you don't control me. I was stationed here. Dude, that was so f***ing loud. I heard you. You in the bedroom? That was like legit the loudest thing I've heard in this house all night.
like I want to go back to the bed and just lay there and just see what may happen. You know, that's like the craziest thing is when I walk into this room, I got like the strongest odor of like death. And that's the first time throughout the entire night. I've had that smell. I'll have to ask her if she gets smells in this house. But it literally smelled like a freaking dead animal. It was like right when I walked through the threshold into this room, you got like a super strong whiff of like... He a, killed us. He killed us. Who killed you? I'm laying in Lori's bed. Please leave here. I'm not leaving. Please leave here. Dude, it feels like this bed is like shaking. Are you underneath this bed right now? You can feel kind of like the bed like going side to side. If you're under the bed, hit something. Leave me alone. No. Lori begged and begged and begged for you to leave her alone. You didn't listen, did you? Anyone. Where did you come from? I died suddenly. Is your name Gordon? I got like a headache. Genevieve. Genevieve. Was that your wife? We're going to kick your wife out of here too. Okay, what I want to do is just lay here in complete darkness. Give it a few more minutes. Something just touched my hand again. I don't know if I just seen a shadow. I feel like something touched my hand. When it touches you, it feels like a feather. Like goes across you. But then it looked like a shadow in the dining room. No freaking way. That was so loud. I hear you walking. It is like so cold right here. I mean, you can feel the coldness just hitting your face. I want to grab that. Out there it was 70 degrees. Oh, huge spike. It spiked all the way up to 1.7 milligals. Come crawl in the bed with me. No freaking way. Does that mean you're on the bed? That is so freaking crazy. You take the temperature down.
keep going. I want to feel how cold it was in here earlier. Dude, this thing is going crazy. And the temperature shot up almost four degrees. Oh. Is that you? You can see right now it's 70.8. 666, no freaking way. That is like so freaking crazy. Oh my God, my camera just went off too. Went to 666, the freaking alarm went off and my GoPro went dead. But this area underneath the bed here is where the portal is. Okay, I think I'm done in here. Okay, Sean, I'm done. Whew. All right, that's fucking crazy. Get whatever the hell's in here out of here. Definitely seal this portal, if it is a portal, which I'm convinced now this was a portal. Dude, it went from 70 degrees, I was just laying on the bed, and went all the way up to 75. And then I went underneath the bed, and it was like 73, and I go, can you take it back down to 666? And I automatically dropped it down to 666, and the freaking GoPro went dead. So right now, I'm in the house alone, and now this is a total different feeling. Alarm's going off. We got so many alarms. Oh, no way. Very, very cold right now. Are you in here? What's your name? So right now I'm using uh, SP7 Pro. I know you was in this bedroom earlier when I was laying in the bed. So I need you to talk to me. When I get close to you, tell me to stop. Oh, that was crazy. Tell me your name. If your name's Gordon, say Gordon. Something's talking to me. Oh, crap. Come on, you shook that thing before. Do it again. The picture I saw of the old man, is that you? Is there a portal underneath the bed? Did they disturb something when they dug? Rocky was having a lot of luck with it, so let's try it. I got a device here, you can still talk through it. If you're back here, let me know. Go away. I'm not going nowhere. Right before that, I heard something. Where are you at? Are you in this room? Can you hear it? 
No freaking way. And I heard something right before freaking when I first started this. Tell me what is wrong with Lori's bedroom. Where is it? I have no idea. What's under Lori's bed? Walking. What did they dig up? Help. I carry beer and something. I keep hearing something coming from that other room. Which way do you want me to go? You want me in Lori's bedroom? Are you under her bed? There's a man who keeps coming across. Heck was that? Okay, I'm in here. Want to set on the floor? Am I safe sitting on the floor? I need you to do something. Can you hit me or something? Let me know you're here. I'm gonna knock on the floor, okay? Oh, crap. How many times did I knock? Finally in here with me. The picture I you showed me of the old man, is that you? It's so freaking weird, but like my whole left side right here by the bed is starting to get really freaking cold. Am I feeling you now? Can you set my alarm off? Whoa. I just heard a man's voice, but it wasn't through this. You came through a portal and you're not human. Do something. Set one of these alarms off. Stop being a coward. I know you're in here. Man. Every time the alarm goes off, I do get freaking little freaked out especially sitting down here on the floor with what Josh was getting the 666 it's just like oh my god did you put that temperature down to 666 Are you getting tired of us being here? Um. 
Won't you just come out and face me? Do you want to hurt me? Then come in here. Try. It's like you can keep hearing stuff outside this room. Okay, Josh. You guys come in. Whew. Yeah, I think I've had enough. It's crazy how much his temperature has changed inside here. I mean, it's like now in this room, it's like it's getting cold. It's like I keep hearing a Mel's voice. Whoever's in here, there's definitely something in her bedroom now. Oh no, I just needed a break for a second. I'll tell you one thing though, I've never probably had my body temperature feel like it's changed so freaking much in a one location and it only happens when you go into this bedroom right here i mean the sb7s ain't going off the rim pod ain't going off i mean the temperature thing ain't going off now i have no idea where this thing went earlier just the REM pod was going nuts. Now, nothing. Does this thing finally run out of energy? Which is uh, probably a good thing. Right before you do the cleansing is to get whatever's in this house to its weakest point. And then hammer down on it and shove it out. Send it back to wherever it came from. I'm telling you, I just I don't understand this. This thing has like stopped completely. What we've experienced tonight was very, very crazy. Now, whatever hap was happening underneath that bed with Josh, I just, I can't explain that one. Trying to wrap my head around that one, I, I'm lost. Can you set this alarm off in front of me? Let me know if you're still here with me. All my cameras are getting pretty low, about ready to die. We come in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, we pray that you defend us and protect us during this cleansing and keep us safe and not allow anything to attach to us. We seal this room and this house with the holy water. We seal this bed with the sign of the cross. Anything that is attached to this bed or in this room, in this house, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, we command that you leave this house, leave this family and leave this property. We seal under this bed with the holy water. It is Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who has authority over this house now. Any portals that were open inside this house, inside this room, we seal those portals tight forever. No evil or wicked spirits can ever come through them again. We seal this bed, the blood of Jesus Christ. Any spirits, we command that you leave this house, you leave this room. We seal this threshold with the holy water. It is Jesus Christ who has authority over this house. We close all entryways, doorways, and portals that may have been open inside this house. We call on the Holy Spirit to fill this darkness with the light of the Holy Spirit. Let there be no dark places for the evil ones to hide. Any spirits dwelling inside this house, we command that you leave. 
we banish you from this house. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we pray that you continue to watch over Lori and keep her safe. Let her have peace inside this house. Gordon, if you're in this house, you need to go be at peace. We set you free in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God who has authority over this family and over this property. We protect Lori in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And his spirits residing in this room, we seal this room in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray that you please protect Lori and just keep her safe. Let her live in peace. Let her family live in peace. We pray all these things in your name. Deliver us from evil, for that is the power, the glory, forever. Amen.